Hi three and four. Um, I'm going to try and do a story map for you today of the story of the boy, the mole, the fox and the horse. Um, it's a very different type of story than one we've read before. It's written in such a way as you could open it and find a lovely inspirational quote at any point in the story. Um, so really it's, it's made up of little quotes and little sound bites that are inspiring and motivational, but they're brought together to form a narrative in a sort of way, to make a story that progresses. Um, so it's it's really quite new and interesting. Um, and it's got uh, the story is mostly told through the illustrations as well, so it's really going to help to see the pictures to find out where they are and what they're doing. Um, but we'll give it a go. Story maps can be really useful for just getting ideas down on paper first. So normally when you do a pre-write, um, you might get a bit distracted and forget about some of the things that are on your writing ladder that you need to focus on because you're so concerned with remembering what happened and making sure every single fact gets put into paper. So if you start with doing a story map, it's like doing a plan, to remember all the things that happened so you don't have to worry about forgetting what happened and you can actually focus on the things that you need to think about in your writing ladder like prepositions or what kinds of um, conjunctions you're going to use to make a range of sentence structures and making sure your paragraphs are right okay so at the very beginning of the book we've got an introduction by the author charlie mackesy who tells us about the characters that we're going to find out about he introduced us to the boy the mole the fox and the horse and he tells us that they're traveling in springtime so i might put introduction um, he tells us about our characters so i'm just going to draw some pictures here to remind me of the characters so i've got my boy my mole my fox and a horse just doing really rough sketches Okay, and then he tells us that they're travelling in springtime, so he's setting the scene. In our introduction, we always want to, if we think about Story Mountain, it's always going to um, set the scene and introduce us to our characters and place. Um, how am I going to represent spring? I'll do a little plant growing, new life. And there's lots of weather that um, we see throughout the books. We see cloudy days, we see stormy days, we see sunshine. We see wind. Okay. And he tells us that this is a story all about friendship and love. So, as the story begins, we meet a boy who is lonely. So I'm just going to write that he is indeed lonely. And he meets the mole. I'm just going to draw like this. And we learn that the mole, when the boy and the mole get talking, loves cake. I like to do it as pictures because it just sparks my memory and it, it helps me to remember the story better because I've got to explain to myself what all these pictures mean. It's just supposed to be quick and snappy really to help you map out the story and this boy and the mole they go traveling they become friends and they travel together so I'm going to do my boy and my mole travel together they enjoy learning about each other so they talk and um, share advice and become friends. And as they're going along, they find a fox who is trapped in a snare. Now, a snare is a type of trap that would be used to catch different animals for hunting purposes or because there's perhaps too many foxes in the area and he's scared um, and sad so I might just add those in as, as words to remember to write down in my retelling he's scared and hurt 
and the mole was also very scared because foxes would normally eat moles so the mole is scared but so is the fox but very courageously the boy and the mole free the fox and the fox runs away The boy and the mole continue travelling together and eventually the fox joins them. And keep going and the fox joins them. And the next animal that they meet is the horse who is very large, but very gentle. So I'm going to add in gentle. Um, I want to pick a better word than big. That's um, quite basic. I think we can use better adjective there. Let's say enormous. And they all, four of them together, we've now met our boy, our mole, our fox, and now the horse, and they all travel together. And the things that they learn along the way, as they travel through springtime, and they meet lots of different weather conditions, and what they talk about, actually I'll keep this in the same box, they learn to love each other, they become best friends. They learn about each other. They support each other. And they give each other advice. So I'm writing down all these things so that I can remember to put them in. I could even put them in as a list sentence using commas there, um, eventually. Um, and there's terrible weather. There was a big storm that happened and a nice quote about how the storm will pass eventually. And they all stuck together. And they were curious and looked at the moon. And they splashed around in some water. So I'm just going to write down all the things that I can remember that happened. I don't need to have the book in front of me. These are the ones that I just remember. I'm sure plenty of other things happened. But I might want to include a few in my retail. And the horse reveals something to them all after a while. The horse tells them that he can fly. Or she. They can fly but they made the other horses jealous. So I'm just going to write that other horses jealous to remind myself of why the horse hid its wings. But the boy, the mole and the fox all say that they love the horse anyway, whether or not it can fly. So they take off and go flying around, which is nice. The horse is actually a Pegasus. And we learn that the mole still loves cake. And the boy wants to get home. And the fox is quiet doesn't talk very much but he's still with them and he still loves them and they love him even though he's very quiet doesn't like to share his trauma because he's hurt and that the horse can fly that's the other thing I learned and on the journey they realize that they love each other so much 
it doesn't matter that they're lost and not at home. The boy isn't lonely anymore because he's got all of his friends and he realises that he doesn't necessarily need to get home. He says that home isn't always a place. which I think is a really nice quote, is he's thinking about the people in his heart. Home is where the heart is, as you say. And he loves Hux and the horse. So really, that's his new home. And I think very nicely, and very smartly by the author, the book doesn't actually have an end. It says the end on one of the pages, but he's crossed that out and he wrote, he wrote look how far we've because in, ordinarily in a story, in a narrative story, we might have a happy ending or a sad ending, but we'd have some kind of conclusion at the end. So we have our introduction, we have the journey that they take, um, perhaps this could be the climax of the story where um, they're travelling together and learning about each other. And usually you'd have some kind of conclusion, but in this case, we don't. We just keep traveling the boy doesn't ever really make it home the fox doesn't um, learn to talk more the horse doesn't go back to all of his jealous um, horse friends with new confidence because just like real life it doesn't have an ending this book doesn't really have an ending and they keep going on their journey and maybe they do eventually do all those things but not at this point in the story and I think that's really nice so we've summed up the whole story on one page. Let's go through it, make sure we've got all the main points. And I can use this once I've got all these main points down. I don't have to keep, I don't have to think of lots of interesting adjectives and think of the conjunctions that I'm going to use or the prepositions or which nouns and pronouns to use in my retail at the same time as thinking of what actually happened. I've got it all down, I know exactly what happened, so now I can think about all those extra grammar things and making it sound good um, and give my full attention to it. So, we start by introducing our characters and we find out that it's springtime and we start with the boy who is lonely and he meets a mole that loves cake. The boy and the mole, they travel together and they give each other advice and they become very good friends. And they meet a fox who is scared and he's trapped inside a snare. And the mole is also scared, but the boy and the mole free the fox anyway and he runs away. So the boy and the mole keep going and the fox eventually joins them, becomes their friend when he realises they're not dangerous. And then they meet a horse who is gentle and enormous and they all travel together through bad weather and through all the springtime weather and scenery, beautiful illustrations, and they um, become friends and learn about each other and give each other advice and support each other. And they play around in water and they spend the night staring up at the moon, asking questions. And the horse reveals that he made all the other horses jealous because he could fly, and that's why he was on his own. But the boy, the mole and the fox all tell the horse that they love him anyway. And the, the mole still loves cake and the boy wants to be home and the fox is really sad and hurt and quiet but they realize that they all love each other and that home isn't always a place and they stay friends forever there we go so now i've got all the main points down and as i'm going through and doing my retail i might want to refer back to this so once i've introduced the characters i could perhaps even tick that off and once i've mentioned that it's springtime i could tick that off and maybe each time I have a arrow could be a new paragraph because it's a new idea. So this is one idea, the introduction. Then the next idea is when the boy meets the mole and they travel together and then they meet the fox. So they're all different things that happen. So that could be how I choose to paragraph it by every time there's an arrow, start a new line. Um, and I've written down a couple of key words every so often, like the boy is lonely, the fox and the mole are scared. The horse is gentle and enormous, but these can just be starting points. I can think of a lot more as I'm going through each bit at a time. OK, I hope that's been helpful to you and I hope that um, I'm looking forward to seeing your story maps and seeing how that how you've used them to help you with your own pre-writes. <laughs>